you I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, you... Tampered him to, to get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is this. Oh, okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it and he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or something? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the this did just say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the <laughs> away from him. I was like, this is <laughs> An old interview resurfaces with 50 Cent talking about receiving some spicy content with Cassie in it. Allegedly, this footage is from one of Diddy's alleged freak-offs. Now, with Diddy and 50 Cent's very strange history, was this Diddy's way of trying to lure 50 in to one of his parties? Y'all, your boy Pascal back at it again with another The Diddy Files video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show. One word, hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Yeah, anyway, we got to talk about this, guys. And I told you guys there would be a little bit more uh, added to this series, The Diddy Files series. And if you appreciate it, be sure to hit that like button for sure and uh, put in the comments if you're enjoying the edits and all that. I'm trying something new with these with these stories. OK, guys. And also, please be sure to go and check out my most recent interview with DMC, Daryl McDaniels of Run DMC. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. It's a really great interview. Please go and check it out. The link is in the description box down below or up above somewhere above my head. Anyway, we got to get into this. 50 Cent and Diddy have a very interesting and strange relationship. There have been many videos where 50 Cent has called out Diddy for his strange ways, his funny ways. He's said a lot of other colorful words, which I'm not going to waste my time on that. But he has said some things in some interviews that have been a very have been very, very weird. But one of the things that happened as soon as that 35 page document, that lawsuit came out before the, the, the settlement between Diddy and Cassie came out, 50 Cent jumped quickly to his Instagram to post this. And he says in the caption, damn, brother, love, brother, love, brother, love you out here looking and it, like eyes emoji, crazy as an MF, L-M-A-O. This is what he wrote on his Instagram. Because here's the thing. There's a history here between Diddy and 50 Cent. A lot of people in the game, a lot of people in Hollywood know about Diddy's very strange and odd and questionable ways out here. We just never knew it was like this. We didn't, with, with Cassie coming out with this information, a lot of people just didn't know it was this volatile. There was rumors about him being out here having an alternative lifestyle, but we all, all of us that heard about these rumors thought it was consensual. And I think even 50 Cent thought it was consensual. Now, 50 Cent, like I said before, has had an interesting relationship with Diddy. And he was on Drink Champs a while back, clearly having a great old time. But he had some very, very choice words to say about Diddy and how he kind of came up to him and said, I want to take you shopping. Uh, what? Take a look at this. He scampered him to, to get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we going to get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is this. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this <laughs> just say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Nah. Ask me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> just like, I wanna take you shopping. <laughs> I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. <laughs> Take you why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I'm gonna feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. <laughs> That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when you tell me you want to take me shopping, what the fuck is the matter with this? <laughs> so, 50 Cent coming out and talking about this, clearly a little bit inebriated. I mean, come on. 
it is a little bit of an odd story, especially when you see when you see how Diddy is out here in these streets. He doesn't come off. He does not give off that vibe. Right? Right? Now, it doesn't matter if he wanted to take him out shopping. It is an odd story. It's very funny. It's it's weird. It's it's awkward. And I'm sure it was strange for, for, for Fiddy to be on the receiving end of that comment. But that has nothing to do with any criminal charges. It's not like he has committed anything criminal. But something has resurfaced. And it could give us more insight on what Diddy's intentions were with the content that he was making during these freak-offs with Cassie. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but let's get into it. Some old audio has resurfaced where Fiddy Scent talks about receiving spicy content. We got to use these code words, guys. But he received this spicy content that allegedly had Cassie in it. And it's not content that had Diddy in it. From what Fiddy Scent understood, Diddy was still with Cassie at that time. But he saw this footage and he's like, wait a second, that dude is not Diddy. So he sees the footage and clearly in the footage, the person that Cassie is with is not Diddy. So of course, Fiddy Scent, before he was going to go and put this out into the world and put him on blast, he decides to do the right thing and reach out to Diddy to say, hey, Yo, are you still with your your girl? Are you still with Cassie? I mean, you still mess with her? And and Diddy's like, yeah, I am. And Fiddy goes, hey, I need to send you something. Hit me back when you when you get it. He sends him the content, and Diddy, all Diddy says is, yo, thanks, my man. I appreciate you sending that to me. And that's it. That is it. He's like, where did you get the footage from? Yo, it's better for you to hear it than for me to continue to explain it. So, take a listen. The nigga Puff, like, he called, we should kick it on the telephone and shit, after the maid shit. Right, right. And and the nigga be like, matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of this girl, like, not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me, yo? Like penetration pictures and... and nah, come on, man. <laughs> come on, Fifth. All that, and I didn't even, I didn't even, I called the nigga, I said, yo, you really, you fucking with this girl, like, you really, like, you like her, like that? And he was like, yeah, that, that's my girl. I'm like, all right, I'm going to send you something. You look at it, you call me back. Oh, I man. sent him the photos, the pictures and everything, and the nigga called back and was like, yo, thanks, man, about us tonight, yo, I really appreciate that. Yo, where you get these shits from? <laughs> and I said, you know, like, because they know, like, if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'm a, I'll make sure it get out there, like, as far as this city is concerned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and those other properties, so they sent it to me. <laughs> but, you know, I really, I really kind of felt like those photographs were not happening because of Cassie. I felt like they was happening because of Puffy. Right, right. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Because when a, a girl moves from a man and she upgrades, niggas be insecure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They start feeling some kind of way, especially like, like whoever I last, whoever the guy was she was with in the photos versus where Puffy's at. Because Puffy's, he ain't no slouch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's been able to take advantage of all the suckers. A few takeaways for me, at least for me. Number one, this is confirming that freak offs did happen and that there was content being made or at least footage being taken, documented of the freak offs. And Cassie was with other people and maybe different actors, different males, okay, different men in this content. That's number one. So this confirms, he's confirming what these, these documents are saying, all right, and what she's alleging about, about Diddy. Second, he's making the content, but then how is this content getting out there? Think about that for a second, guys. How is the content getting out there? Let me just read you guys something really quick. Let's go back, 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 all the way to the legal documents. And it says this, during these freak offs, in addition to directing Cassie and taking care of himself, Diddy would use his phone, laptop, and tablet to film Cassie having these things, having these moments with hired people. Okay, hired, I'll just say actors for right now. 
He treated the forced encounter as a personal art project, adjusting the candles he used for lighting to frame the videos he took. While Cassie quickly deleted any of these photos or any of these videos that were taken on her phone, Sean Diddy Combs repeatedly made it clear that he retained many videos of Cassie during these freak offs. Even when she deleted these videos, he would tell Cassie that he was able to recover the deleted videos from her devices. On one occasion, he sat down next to her on a flight and made her watch a video she thought she had deleted, reinforcing her ability to escape and the immense power he held over her. Now think about that for a second, okay? Number one, he had content that he could blackmail her with. Let's just be real. That's number one. So he, she was stuck. He can have full control over her, this manipulative mother lover. But then the other part of it is too, he was making this content. He was retrieving it and holding on to it. Where was this content going? Clearly, that content wasn't only for his own amusement. It sounds to me that it could have been content to use to not only maybe lure other people, maybe other men, other women into these FOs, but also maybe to sell some of this stuff, y'all. This could be a lot deeper than what we're thinking right now. That content is somewhere out there. Some of these people are literally out here and know what's going on, but just aren't saying nothing because they might be a client. Or they might be involved in these masquerade lingerie parties. 50 Cent received the content. So it makes you wonder, was Diddy trying to lure him in? I mean, he's been trying to get with, with 50 Cent for a minute, it seems like. Man, let me take you shopping, bro. Like, think about it for a second, guys. Think about it. To me, this could be something much more. This could be Bigger and deeper than anything. There could be a ring, if you get what I'm saying, involved in this situation. Now, clearly, this is not a, this is not somebody who's a, but at the same time, this is still content that is out here that's being shared. Okay. This films, amateur films that are being sent out here, people are receiving them somehow. How did, how did, how did it slip from Diddy's fingers into 50 Cent's hands if it wasn't already being shared prior? But anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. To me, this could be something much bigger, y'all. There's something bigger going on here. And maybe that's the reason why he was so fast in trying to settle with Cassie, because you know for a fact she knows a lot more that could destroy this man even more. Again, this could unearth and rip the lid off some off of some things that really need to be put out here for the public's attention. Because this guy could very well be not only just a monster to her, but a monster to many, many others. And I'm very interested to see how things start to unravel as time goes on. Man, this is insane. Again, content and information that has been out here for years, and we all have just heard it and just let it pass on by. It is crazy to me how it's all starting to come back and, and how it's all coming back in full circle. It's, it's insane to me. But there's more coming. Trust me. That's why I did another installment with the Diddy Files. If you appreciated this, please do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Crush that follow button if you're watching on Facebook. Okay? It'd be great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family on both platforms. Anyway, guys, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. All right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P A S C A L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.